Hello everybody, welcome to Sonal Training Videos. My name is Peter Polik and at Sonal I take care of trainings and technical support. Uh, today uh, we will learn how to correctly evaluate the state of uh, insulation of a cable using Sonal MIC 15K1, uh, our insulation resistance analyzer. So we may have a situation where we want to test uh, uh, a cable and make sure that the condition of its insulation is correct. Now, uh, as the cables are made uh, inside their insulation, there might be some micro inclusions or some water trees where partial discharges occur. Uh, typically, when the cable is buried under the ground, we won't be able to hear any noises coming from the partial discharges. So then, uh, how can we evaluate uh, if the insulation of the cable is correct or not? Well, here uh, our insulation resistance analyzer, MIC15K1, has a built-in uh, partial discharge indicator as well as we can see uh, the graphs of the resistance of the current or voltage using our mobile app Sonel MIC Mobile. Uh, Alright, so let's make the measurement. We can see over here I have the meter, uh, I have some example of a cable. Uh, and I will create some uh, partial discharges. So, right now the meter is set with test voltage to uh, 5000 volts. Uh, test current is 1.2 milliamps because uh, our cable is quite short and we won't need a bigger one. Uh, Alright, so let's start the measurement. We can start the measurement using our Sonal MIC mobile app. So we connect with the meter using the Bluetooth. So now we can start the measurement just by swiping the bar on our Sonal MIC mobile app. Now we can see that the measurement has started. And uh, as we are measuring our uh, cable, we can see that the value, numerical value of the resistance of insulation is quite high. But what happens when uh, I simulate some partial discharges? So let's simulate them. Well, we can see a fluctuation in the numerical value of the uh, resistance of the insulation. But once I press the F4 button, we will, be, we will be able to see the number of partial discharges per second and their numerical value. So we were able to see that there were uh, about 14 partial discharges per second and their value. Uh, also, let's have a look at our mobile app and let's see what happens with the voltage and the current. And there you can see that uh, there are peaks uh, on voltage, so that's the green line, as well as on the current once I simulate the uh, partial discharge. Okay, so now the measurement is uh, over and let's look at the meter. Let's see what's the numerical value uh, of the uh, measured insulation. And that's 254 giga ohms. So, generally, the measurement has finished. We have some uh, value. It might be uh, above the minimum limit for this cable and we may think that this cable is uh, okay, that its insulation is, is in a good condition. Uh, however, thanks to the functionality of Sonal MIC 15K1, uh, we know that the cable is not in a good condition. As we can see on the graphs over here, there are some funny things going on, as well as the graph of the uh, resistance of the insulation. Also, during the measurement, we can see that there are partial discharges. So, thanks to all this functionality of our insulation resistance analyzer, Sonal MIC 15K1, we can uh, quickly determine uh, what is the condition of our tested cable right on the spot of the measurement. Now, let's look at the second situation. So, what will happen uh, when we'll have the short in a cable? what the meter will uh, display to us. So, 
Uh, to simulate these conditions, uh, I have increased the test voltage to 15,000 volts and test current to uh, 7 milliamps. Uh, okay, so uh, let's start the measurement. For this, uh, we can start the measurement again uh, from the meter or from our mobile app. And now we're starting the measurement. You can see over here that there's the arc burning. But right now let's look at the display of the meter and see what happens here. We have a very low value of uh, the resistance of insulation, although the partial discharge indicator does not uh, indicate any partial discharges. Well, there, are sim there simply aren't any uh, discharges. Uh, also, once we look at the graphs, uh, well, well, we can see that the uh, value of uh, resistance, uh, well, it's close to zero. So, uh, this is what the meter will show us uh, when we have uh, a short in the cable.